Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. I'm back with the second Abita beer for today. This is the Abita Big Easy IPA. Let's get into it. Oh, the initial smell is very floral and hoppy. Speaking of hoppy, I like to use different Pilsner gla uh, pint glasses. And this one is from a restaurant called Hops. So this was about my, this is a very early introduction to craft beer for me. This is going back, uh, I think this restaurant came to the town. I, I grew up in Coral Springs, Florida. And I believe this restaurant came to Coral Springs um, around the time that I graduated high school. And this was a brewery restaurant. They had stainless tanks there, and they would brew. And they had a uh, Brewmaster Red that was very good. It was a red with a slightly sweet finish. It was really good. Anyway, the restaurant, I don't think there's any of them left anymore, but it was a really good restaurant. This is kind of a throwback throwback to them and an initial... Um, you could get flights and stuff. and like, This was really an initial foray for me into craft beer. So let's take the first sip. I should mention, very nice, light, very clear golden color. The first sip is definitely hoppy, but not over hopped. Very mi mild to mid. Great floral scents. Um, almost some, some lemon, a little, little bit piney. This is definitely more bitter than the honey grapefruit we just had. What do we have here for? This is 4.5% ABV, so still pretty easy drinking. IBU of 40. I would expect more than 40. I would expect closer to 60, actually, based on the... Um, Maybe between 50 and 60, based on the um, bitterness that I'm experiencing. Uh, the Big Easy IPA is part of Abita's uh, year-round productions in their regular lineup. This is a good beer. This is a beer that, you know, if you're, if you're out somewhere and they didn't have any other craft beer. I shouldn't say that. If you're out somewhere and you like IPAs and you want a light IPA, this is a great choice. See what it says on the bottle. The bottle's pretty cool. It's got a big, um, big river ship for the, for the Big E. I guess the Big Easy is uh, what they call Louisiana, I think, in general. It's called the Big Easy. Big flavor, easy drinking. Oh, ale brewed with lemon peel. So it actually does have a lemon in it. On the back, it says uh, the hop flavor is big, but like life in New England. In New Orleans, we're taking it easy. Brewed with lemon peels and dry hop with Cascade, Amarillo, Cent Centennial, and Simcoe for a hoppy aroma of citrus, fruit, and pine. Easy to drink, just right for long, hot, steamy, hot, long, hot days, steamy nights, parades, or a day on the river with friends. I'd say that's fairly accurate. Definitely that Cascade hop that I'm familiar with in other beers. As I've started to get into these beers more and read some of the mash bill, and and you start to pick out certain types of hops definitely have a definite flavor profile or whatnot. This is easy drinking. You could definitely have a couple of them. I mean, it, it's going down very easy. It's not very heavy. It's uh, it's it's a, it's a good easy beer. I really do miss hops, though. It was a good restaurant. 
And um, I don't eat meat anymore, but they used to have a brewmaster steak. It was a sirloin that they would, uh, which I'm not usually a huge sirloin fan, but they, they would marinate it for like three days or something like that, and it was really tasty. Might even call it like the, blue, the Brewmaster's Hawaiian steak or some, something along those lines. There may have been pineapple in the marinade. Which I've done before, I've marinated steaks and used pineapple as a separator to, to, to set the steaks not sitting right on top of each other. Use pineapple so that the marinade can float in between so both sides of the steak get marinated. Down here. Well, this is the end of the second one. And I would rate this a three and a half. Like I said, there's nothing special enough to give it to give it more than a three and a half, but it's a good quality beer. So I'm going to go three and a half. So until next time, cheers.